find the equation of the tangent and normal to the curve y equals to x cubed minus 6x plus 1. We start off by finding the gradient function y equals to x cubed minus 6x plus 1. We differentiate to get dy dx. That gives you 3x squared minus 6. With dy dx, you can find the gradient at any point on the curve. You can find the gradient here or here or here simply by substituting the different values of x. As you can see, at different point on the curve, the gradient is different. So at the point when x is equals to 1, dy dx, which is the gradient, is equals to 3 minus 6 equals to negative 3, which means that at the point x equals to 1, for example here, x equals to 1, the gradient is negative 3. So if you know the gradient, then how do you find the equation of this orange line? As you learned from the previous slides, um, you need to know the coordinate that the line passes through, the coordinate of the point that the line passes through. When x is equal to 1, y is equal to negative 4. So this point has the coordinate 1, negative 4. So to find the equation of the orange line, y minus y1, which is negative 4, equals to the gradient negative 3 times x minus 1. We simplify this. We have the equation of the orange line which is the equation of the tangent. Now, how do we find the equation of the normal? The normal refer to the line that is perpendicular to the tangent, which is this line. Okay, this is the normal. So, the gradient of the orange line is minus 3, so the gradient of the normal will be negative reciprocal, which is negative, sorry, which is positive 1 over 3. So using the same formula for finding equation of a straight line, y minus y1 equals to the gradient multiplied by x minus x1. To simplify this, I multiply the whole f uh, equation by 3. So I get 3y plus 12 equals to x minus 1. So I got 3y equals to x minus 13. So I have here the equation of the green line, which is the normal. So this is how you find the equation of the tangent and the normal. It passes through the same point, 1 minus 4, and you find the gradient using the dy dx.